friends and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a little bit of an earlier video partially because CVS was being a pain and partially just because I am still learning how to do Walgreens and I'm being a little bit more active in my Walgreens couponing. So I got these two packs of Bounty and all these snacks and um, this CoverGirl and L'Oreal products for completely free and a 12 plus money maker. So without any further ado, let's jump into the deals. This is I did use paper coupons, but you can actually still do this deal with all digital. So I am going to call this an all digital deal and I'll explain the difference between using um, paper coupons versus digital. I only used two paper coupons and they're digital slash printable versions of those as well. So I want to make sure that everyone can still do these deals and it's super accessible. Um, I did all of this in a single transaction and I had two boosters. I had to spend 15, get 60, oh, sorry, not spend 60 get 15 back in Walgreens cash digital booster and a spend 40 get 8 Walgreens pack cash back paper booster so already that is going to be a 23 dollars back in Walgreens cash that we will be getting to break down the individual deals these voluminous mascaras are 11.49 at my store so two of them total to 12 90 oh no 22.98 i had a nine off to l'oreal um cosmetics digital coupon it was a just for you coupon but i saw a couple other people had it as well which took off nine dollars they are on pomo for spend 15 get a five dollars register reward back that printed no problem for me and also on ibotta there is offers for two dollars back on each mascara so four dollars back for the Glide, this is on promo for $4 each and buy two get a $5 register reward. So I picked up two of them for $8. I had a $3.50 off to Oral-B or I think it was like Oral-B or Scope. <laughs> Obviously this Oral-B. So that came off perfectly fine, leaving me to technically just pay $4.50 and then get back $5 in register rewards. This one also printed no problem. I know that some people are having some issues with register rewards printing so i picked up these two and the register reward printed just fine um of course to remind everyone i did do this whole transaction as part of a single deal uh so i'm breaking them down individually but the deals are for uh an entire transaction for the fruit loops and apple jacks jumbo snacks they are buy one get one free this is a promo that's been going on and so they're $4.49 each, um, but since they're buy one get one free, I picked up two of them for $4.49. I submit my receipt to Ibotta for $2 back on each pack. And on Shopkick, there is an offer for 350 points back, or sorry, kicks back, which equates to $1.40, making these a little money maker. And then for the bounty, they are $10.99 each, so totaling you to $21.98. I had an $8 off to just for you coupon. That brought them down to $13.98. Um, that is pricey, but since I had those Walgreens Cash um, booster paper and digital coupons, we already know that I'm going to be getting $23 back from that. I was willing to kind of pick up some higher ticket items since I knew it would still be a money maker. Now this cover girl, I'm actually missing one of the um, concealers that I picked up, is a clearance deal. So these cover girl products, um, the face products were $3.19 at my store and then the lash blast was I think $2.79. So I picked up three of the concealers and one of the lash blast. Um, there, buy one get one 50% off. So in store, I did use paper coupons, but if you want to do this digitally, you can as well. So what I did is I used two $3 off paper coupons um, and then I didn't use a, like, I think because of how Walgreens does this, I'm not 100% sure. So if anyone knows in the comments, drop it below, but I'm pretty sure their coupons don't go overage. So I didn't use another $3 paper coupon, even though I picked up three of these cover girls that were on clearance because one of them would have been 50% off and uh, I don't think it would have attached and I didn't want to risk my transaction. So I used three, uh, two $3 off paper coupons from the insert in the Smart Source this past week and then no coupons on the Lash Blast. But I did end up submitting my receipt to coupons.com for the $2 offer uh, on the CoverGirl eye products. If you do not have any paper coupons, what you can actually do is there's a $2 off digital face product coupon that should come off just fine. 
on one of these CoverGirls, you can print out another $2 CoverGirl coupon from coupons.com for the face product. And then also you can submit your receipt to coupons.com for $2 back on the CoverGirl face product and $2 back on the eye product since you are allowed to use one coupon per item. So that would basically be the same exact thing I'm doing since I didn't submit for another face um, coupon, even though I technically could have. Um, I just thought it wasn't worth it. But with the way I did it, this was a $6.63 moneymaker because on Ibotta, there's offers for $2 back on each CoverGirl face product and $2 back on the mascara. So I think my total cost was around like $9.37. Then after my two $3 off coupons, it brought it down to $3.37. Then I sent my receipt to Ibotta for $8, um, two for each. I'm missing that CoverGirl concealer. Don't mind me there. And then on coupons.com, I actually submit for the um, eye makeup. So that's $10 back, making it around, yeah, a six-ish dollar moneymaker, which is an amazing deal. And then like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I had two boosters that I stacked on top of each other, a $15 back when spend 60 and $8 back when spend 40. So my original cost for everything was 66.82. I paid around 40.32 out of pocket, got back $23 in Walgreens cash and 76 cents for that 1% back. Then $10 in register rewards, five for the Glide and five for the L'Oreal, and then $16 back on Ibotta, four for the mascaras, and then eight for the CoverGirl, and then four for the um, fruit roll-ups. And then on Shopkick, I got back $1.40 for the jumbo snacks. And then on coupons.com, I got back another $2 for the CoverGirl, making this a $12.64 moneymaker, guys. Literally, amazing i am still getting used to couponing at walgreens so i was pretty excited that this worked out well all my digital coupons came off and i hope that this video helps everyone and that you have a great rest of your week i will be uploading my cvs video probably tomorrow the deals are a little bit hard for me at cvs this week i don't know if other people are feeling the same but i hope you guys enjoyed this walgreens haul and if you like my content i would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment about what your plans are for next week i hope once again everyone has a great rest of your week and i hope to see y'all's back on my channel soon